Yo, yo. So I got a DM from somebody recently, and it was a good question. So, hey, Stefan, love your content. I've been a fan for a long time. I have a question. I was hired as a back-end Python Django developer, did a few projects with Django. Everything is awesome. Now I am put on a big project with React. I have zero experience with React, and people are frustrated that it takes me time to finish task. I understand that things are not always perfect, and I guess I can't always work with Django. I also understand that as a web dev, I should be able to adapt and learn new things as needed. That's true. But this situation seems a little not reasonable to me. I have no experience with React, and I'm not even specialized for front end, and this is a huge project. Is it okay for them to expect me to get things done quickly? Thanks in advance. So my response to him, and then I'll give you some more details. I say, your experience is not uncommon. It's part of the game. I would suggest trying to reframe this as an opportunity to get paid to learn more. So when I say reframe this, I mean in your brain. Uh, oftentimes, whether you feel good or bad about something that's going on in your life has a lot more to do with how you frame it. I would do some extra work on the side to get up to speed with React. This will help you in the end because you will become a more valuable developer and you're getting paid to learn this stuff. Hope that helps. This is all lizard brain stuff. So let me uh, give you a little background. Back in the uh, 90s when I was a, uh, a noob nerd, I remember one of the main criteria that developers had when looking at jobs, whether it be contract jobs, whether it be freelance jobs or full-time jobs, one of the top priorities, one of the top criteria rather, was whether or not they were doing something new. It was, at least the elite developers thought in that way. So because every time you did something new in a work environment on a real project, it just raised your game. Not only technically, because anybody who knows, one of the things I do, I teach multiple programming languages. I teach JavaScript, I teach PHP, and I teach Python uh, for various reasons. But one of the reasons I teach the three languages because when you learn, let's say we start with JavaScript, and then have you do PHP, and then Python. When you learn JavaScript, then when you go to PHP, or you go to Python, whatever, JavaScript, PHP, for the sake of argument, when you learn PHP, your knowledge of JavaScript will just get better. And then when you go and you learn Python, your knowledge of PHP and JavaScript will get better. And the great thing about learning new languages and frameworks and so on, once you've learned one, um, the subsequent language that you learn is going to be so much easier. So he's going from Python to, uh, well, Python Django to uh, front-end React JavaScript. So this is new. This is new. So I assume he knows a little JavaScript since he's doing uh, some web apps with Python. It's just going to up his game. It's just gonna, it's just going to up his up his game. Now, initially, you may have uh, uh, you know four or five hours of frustration learning the new stuff. But once you get your you get your head wrapped around it very quickly because programming is programming, and in the end, you're getting paid to learn. So I take this uh, as a good thing. So in this situation where he's being pushed to learn this new technology, we'll call it a new stack, um, the, and he feels like they, f they feel that he's moving a bit slow. I would do the extra work. I would spend an extra five hours on the weekend, just one weekend, maybe two, and get your head wrapped around the stuff. It's just going to benefit you. First of all, you're going to look like a superstar to your uh, employers and your coworkers, which will make you more valuable, which means you can get faster pay raises, and you know what? You're just investing in yourself. When you learn a new language, you got to kind of look at it like going to the gym. You're, you're going to the gym, you're lifting weights. It could be hard work, especially if you're still getting into it. You're not, it's not a part of your daily uh, or weekly life. But it's investing in yourself. It's like investing in the stock market. Uh, so yeah, I would definitely uh, just look at it as a positive the worst thing you can be as a developer is doing the same exact thing for too long. That's not good. That's not good. So there, there you go. I hope that helps. Cheers. <laughs>